I felt like a spire was written for me. There were so many things in the book that pertain to my life and that helped me become a better person just by reading what the words meant. Every time that I was reading a page, it, I was just feeding my soul. It made me feel so different, so positive. It was just changing many things inside of me that I was just feeling with emotions. I couldn't put it down. Once I started, I thought I would just begin reading for a few hours, and I, I didn't put it down until I was done. It was just so powerful because it was authentic and truthful. And it, it was so captivating because I think what the message that the book was delivering was really pertinent to me in my stage in life. One thing that, that I, I really feel has impacted me with the book, being a single mom and trying to raise two, two good men, is to raise them to want to be the best that they can be, to realize what they have to offer the world. I felt very comforted by the book. A lot of the principles that were taught there really touched my heart. There were things that I had been taught by my parents. It was like a comfortable sweater. I wanted to put it on and bask in it. When I went into my son's room and saw what he had written, the notes he'd taken from your book, because he's never taken notes on a book before. When I started reading Aspire, I uh, like found out what those words meant for me. I thought, wow, if a book like this can inspire a 16-year-old boy, and change how he perceives words and how he thinks about these concepts and principles, you know, that could change a whole world. I've been focusing on trying not to, the word again, shy, trying not to put down others or make them feel less of themselves. And I've been trying to, to not put myself down. I loved it. I, I loved, loved, loved it. I couldn't put it down. And my oldest daughter, Crystal, is just surprised me one day when she came into my office and handed me a photocopy of all the words to hang on my dream board. Every page I read, I wrote maybe four pages of notes for that one page. I mean, I have notes and notes and notes of the book. I just, I loved it. If you look at my copy, uh, it's all marked up. Um, you know, I got little notes about my kids and uh, the fact that I want to be a better father, a better husband just a better person. In Aspire, these words are true. They go back to roots. They pull out qualities that are just recognized throughout the world. Well, the impact really in my life has been amazing uh, from day one. Uh, after I was able to, to finish the book, I started utilizing everything that I learned in the book, you know, about the power of words, really how, how it will uh, affect other people, not just myself, which number one, of course, it will affect my, myself greatly, but also how it could affect other people. There's a couple words I really enjoy for business use. One, is the word, one of the words is passion. People misuse it all the time, but when I started to understand that passion was really something I was willing to suffer for, when I'm working at three in the morning, I start to realize why I'm there, because I love it. And that's what's so beautiful about this book is that it's true principles that you can apply in any company or in your life in general. We all are finding something within ourselves that we maybe always knew that was there. But seeing it in a cognitive way, giving it a name, and being able to use it right away. It took me on this journey within myself to decide how I want to show up in life, how I want to be. It energized me to do something, to take action. And I've felt like it's been helpful to me in my life. And those are words that I definitely wanted to remember and apply in my life. And having those truths touch your heart, it encourages you to go further and to do more. It just makes you want to be better and live better and treat other people better. And that's why people love Aspire. It's because it touches their heart 
and they know, not just reading it, but they feel it. People say, how can words have that kind of an influence on your life? Well, read this book and you'll find out.